pulled off that counter-attack without a hitch, and he did it like it was the most natural thing in the world. That Lan Evo can do things we'll never understand. It's got extra boost and traction that no FR can imitate. No matter how far that FR might be tweaked out, that Evo will win on every level. You got that right. You just can't deny the mechanical superiority of a car that has four-wheel drive. This race just became a real tough one for Ryosuke. I wonder if he's even gonna have the chance to regain the lead after that. I really doubt it, man. Come on, Ryosuke. You carry the pride and hope of all Goonma racers with you. Win this for us! All those issues I had about mountain passes have vanished. After doing this, I don't buy into the idea of having some kind of charisma or charm with the pass. And now that I've analyzed this superstitious illusion, I can see all it comes down to is experience. That and refined technique. Now that I understand that, I'm not afraid of Ryosuke anymore. Because when it comes to refined technique, that's one area where I've got him beat. So, Takumi, what do you think happened? In Akagi, I mean. It should be over by now. Who do you think won? I honestly don't have the slightest idea. And how could I tell? I lost that Lan Evo even before I saw what he was fully capable of. <clears throat> Just talking to you about it. Pissing me off all over again. Uh -huh. Sorry, man. About what? It's not like it's your fault, and talking to you is at least helping me to get it off my chest, you know? I was feeling so depressed all day today, I didn't know what to do with myself. After the engine blew on me, the guy driving the Lan Evo told me he didn't even consider it a race. Can you believe that? He said that we'd battle for real some other time whenever I had a better car to do it with. He said that? And it was the way he said it to me. He acted like he was already sure I wouldn't understand it. Like a teacher explaining schoolwork to the dumb kid, not some guy bragging about a victory. Mm -hmm. That hurt my pride more than anything. Pretty sure those words are gonna stick with me for a long time. What do you say? Let's get this operation started. Mm-hmm. By tomorrow night? There's gonna be a new rumor stirring around Akina. Everybody in town's gonna be talking about the resurrection of the 8-6. You've got a finely tuned car there, Kyuichi. Surprisingly fine cornering abilities. You can accelerate at any RPM. 
It turns easily and exits corners faster than most other drivers could dream. And the acceleration... Watching this thing perform so up close and personal, it's terrifying. Of course, it's not like I just now had this epiphany. I knew all this yesterday. smacked his fender into the guardrail. Yeah, he had to do that. I think it was the only way he could keep up with the Evo 3. Look at this time. <gasps> That's nuts. If the Evo 3 keeps this up, he'll blow the course record off the rails. I never thought I'd live to see this. Yeah, and Ryosuke's not a slow driver. It's just the Evo 3 is really going that fast out there. Yo, this is Corner 35 calling to check in. Listen. The Evo 3 is still in the lead. Got it. Hey, Keisuke. Do you think he's going to be okay? If the Land Evo can just keep up this pace for a little while longer, I hate to say it, you guys, but you know, he could walk away with the victory. Don't sweat it, okay? My brother will get around this. He's stronger than you think. I mean, there's no doubt Sudo's fast. Yeah, I don't think any of us here saw this one coming. Watching those tires is like watching lightning strike. I'm not even kidding. You don't see it till it's too late, but my brother certainly did. Using all the data he collected at various checkpoints throughout the race last night, he learned a hell of a lot from what Sudo did against the 8-6. He calculated every one of Sudo's abilities more precisely than I ever could. So I can tell you what I truly believe. My brother's walking away with the trophy tonight. The misfiring in that four-wheel drive make for a killer combo. Full acceleration and low gears isn't gonna cut it against this guy. But I may get my chance to overtake him at a high-speed corner. I knew it. He isn't coming in to attack me from another angle. Why not? Watch his deal. This passive driving thing is starting to psych me out. Has he thrown in the towel? <laughs> no, that's stupid. I know better. He's going to attack. It's just a matter of when. <laughs> Logically, I know I'm in the better position, but I can't shake the feeling that I'm being hunted here. Maybe I haven't gotten past my whole issue about Ryosuke and his charisma. Beating the hell out of him will get rid of that. I'm ready for you, pal. All my tires have still got full traction. This is one incredible battle. I only have one chance here. And I need to make my attack precise. Time to thread that needle. Ryosuke's right on top of him, but the Evil Three's really cooking. He's not slowing down at all. Looks like this is going to be a close one, guys. I don't know about this. I really don't think Ryosuke can pull this off. They got one more corner to hit before they get to the finish line. I know. Guess Ryosuke getting knocked off the throne is a lock at this point. <sighs> Here they are. Crap, the Evo 3 is still in the lead. This turn is my chance to take him out. Your weakness is your fear of turning right. It's something you never bother to conquer. And frankly... You really suck at it. What? Uh, Ryosuke just took him on the outside! Amazing! He's got the Evo 3 boxed in! Damn it! He's got me stuck! I can't use my four-wheel drive traction or the misfiring system! The FC is cornering while it's blocking the Evo 3. That's it! You can do this, Ryosuke! Come on! Let's go! You're almost there, man! He's gonna win this! Unbelievable.
That was a course record. Suck on that, Emperors. The Red Suns just saved Kunma. What do you think of them apples? Initial D. Initial D. Initial D. I can't believe it. Even Kyuichi couldn't beat him. What the hell happened out there? That's a crazy course record. I mean, I've watched your brother race for years, and I've never seen him move like that. Why was he so much faster here than he usually is at home? My brother's pretty good about leaving a big enough margin of error. You know, it keeps himself or anyone else from crashing during the time trials that we run. When he's put into that kind of situation where he's forced to raise the bar, then I suppose this is the kind of thing that's just gonna happen. That Evo 3 was a really tough opponent to go up against. <laughs> so I guess he got really serious out there tonight. Now that was a killer win. The way you took that corner was unreal. Hey, Ryosuke. Look, I got something I want to ask you. We've both been racing a long time. So what the hell is the difference between us? Why can't I beat you? I just don't get this, man. What is it? What am I doing wrong? In my opinion, your technique is solid. In fact, it's almost as good as mine. Don't stand there and patronize me. Just tell me why. That's what I'm trying to do, Kyoichi. I'm trying to tell you that it isn't because of your technique. Your weakness is in your right turn, that's it. And it doesn't necessarily happen every time, either. But I've noticed there are a handful of turns where your weakness rises to the surface and can be exploited. My right turns? Just to the right of the center line is a dead zone, which is usually occupied by opposing traffic. That's what you're used to. You can't attack a right-hand corner without worrying about a head-on collision. It's common, and no one can give it 100%. But with enough experience and course knowledge, you can come about as close to 100% as anyone can hope. Is that clear enough, Kyoichi? Do you get the difference now? Then how about this? In motorsports, you don't have to worry about opposing traffic. The Gymkhana circuit doesn't have two-way traffic. And on your home course, Nico Irhazaka, it's all one way, which you know because it's the course you're most familiar with. You never get the chance to practice. I pay attention to you all the time, and in your counterattack, you always stay outside the right-hand corners. I read that as an indication you're afraid of the inside. In the race you had against the 8-6, you showed me too much, Kyoichi. That's why you lost. was me thinking I'd caught up with you. I guess this street charisma is something you do have. It was totally freaking incredible. I got to see firsthand how great a racer Ryosuke truly is. It opened my eyes. So I guess that vicious storm of Lan Evos that threatened our fair Gunma, it's starting to look like it blew itself out and peace has been restored to the valley. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I really should have gone to that race. By the way, did Itsuki and Takami happen to be out with you guys last night? No, they weren't with us, and I didn't see them up there either. Maybe Takami didn't feel like it after losing to Kyoichi the night before. I wouldn't. Yeah, I'm sure that was it. I mean, if we're still in shock, he's gotta be freaked out about it, too. But he specifically told me he wasn't gonna go to Akagi. I wonder what it was that got into his head and changed his mind. I can't tell you how excited I am that Ryosuke won last night! Now it's officially 100% proven that Guma's got the highest standards of racing anywhere! All right, I'll see you in class, brother! <laughs> hey, Takami! You wouldn't believe what just happened. There was this kid... Hey, where do you think you're going? I'm sorry, Natsuki, but I don't feel like talking to you right now. What? For real? You're sure it was my dad's 8-6? No, no way. That's gotta be some kind of mistake. He would've told me something about it. But it was just a few days ago, one of our team members said he saw it out tooling around Akina Pass. Said it was a three-door Panda Trueno, just like your father's. 
Maybe so, but I don't think it was ours. Do you have any idea where your dad's car is these days? No, got no clue. We had it towed back from Akagi. After that, my dad took it someplace. I couldn't really tell you where. What are you doing about all your morning deliveries? I've got this cheap old pickup truck I've been using. It's pretty crappy, but at least it runs. That 86 is like an Akina legend. Don't tell me it's being picked apart for scrap at some junkyard in the countryside right now. I might just cry. No, dude, I doubt that's where it is. My dad was telling me he was gonna try putting another engine in it. Are you serious? What kind of engine did he say it was? No way he's just gonna cram another normal 4AG engine in that sucker. That's like backtracking. Maybe he's putting in a turbo. I have no interest in him putting in a turbo. I really couldn't care less. Uh, well, why not, man? Of everything inside a car, wouldn't you say that the engine is the most important part? Without it, you've got nothing. It's just a shell. You're right. So if you compare a car to a person, then the engine is like a person's brain. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Takumi, when people make comparisons, they usually compare the engine to a heart. Wait, who does? Well, then it's the heart, whatever, that's not the point. The point is, I don't want another engine. I'm used to what I've got. I don't want it to feel like I'm driving an entirely different car. Okay, I guess I can understand that. You're obviously really attached to that thing. I dig how you're feeling, man. Makes perfect sense to me, too. We just can't help but wonder what kind of an engine it'll have when your dad's done with all his tinkering around with it. Could be sweet. Ubuntu, what's the verdict? I feel it getting better each time I drive it. Only problem is, the engine's so good the suspension can't catch up. It's that good of an engine? Pretty nice. Gotta say, I'm in love. Stop it, Bunta. You're really tempting me here. I may need to jump in there with you next time you take her for a spin. What do you say? I don't know. She's scary. Huh? Oh, come on. Give me a break. You're preaching to the choir here. You don't have to tell me how scary your driving can be. I've been there. Want me to prove it to you? Take a look. Huh? Mm. Oh, what happened? How did you get that? Leaning on my shin. It hurt like hell, but I had to. It was everything I could do to keep upright. I used to think that the side G-force in pass racing wasn't worthy of a bucket seat. I do now. This bruising will go all the way down to my bones if we don't put one in before I go out again. Needless to say, I've had enough for today. This new engine is one tough customer, but I will admit it does make it all the more exciting. Still haven't decided how I'm gonna set her up, though. I might take my time and enjoy it some. She's a sweet lady, if a little rough. Of Course, I gotta consider Takami's gonna be driving her, too, and he can be a little inept. He called Takami inept? He's joking, right? Takami's a genius. I can't wait till we graduate. Anything is better than high school. You really think so? I do. I can't wait to start working a real job. Until you've got a job, you're nothing but another kid who's still living with his parents. Mm -hmm. I want to make my own money, be self-sufficient. With a good job, I could finally afford my own car and do whatever I wanted to do. I can't buy anything on my own now. It's borderline pathetic. I think maybe you need to have a little more patience. We're graduating next spring. After that, you can do anything you want. Just wait till then. I don't feel like I can wait anymore. There's nothing for me at school that's worth any of my time. Kind of seems to me like something's bugging you, man. What's up? Why have you been avoiding me so much lately? Did I do something wrong, or was it maybe something I said? I'm going crazy thinking about it. Just tell me what I did, and I'll apologize. I didn't do anything. <laughs> then, what's wrong? Nothing is wrong. Something is obviously bothering you. We were fine until recently, then you, like, turned off. Suddenly, you're Mr. Distant. I want to know what happened. What's going on with you, Takami? I don't know why you're so worked up about some idiot like me. I'm nothing special. 
none of it should really matter anyway, right? I mean, it's not like we were even officially dating or anything. I'm trying to understand, but you're not making sense. You're like a different person. Just stop following me. Oh, and good luck with your buddy in the Mercedes. Now leave me the hell alone. No. How did he find out? The 8-6 is back, and the big question is, how powerful is it now? Next on Initial D, second stage, the new 8-6. Don't miss it.